All right, guys. Um, some people have been asking me a lot of questions about the property and the driveway and different things. So I used to have a video that was really pretty with the fall leaves on all these trees. And believe me, when these trees are filled in, you don't even hardly see this mountain. So it is very lush and very full normally. But right now you're seeing the bare bones. And that's kind of a good thing because you can really see how the property is laid out. I'm inside my dog fence right now, which is... Um, which is a fence that I built with logs. They're all concreted in. We have this little shed over here um, that is just for tools and things like that. It's not in great shape, but that comes with the property. Um, going down around here and around this area, I think is about 100 linear feet where the dogs are. Sorry about the mess. There's logs that need to be moved and things like that. But the septic is actually right over here. Um, the lines for it and the tank is right over here. So this whole area for the dogs that's fenced in like I said about a hundred linear feet that is all septic underneath so you don't want to use it you know to run over with tractors or anything like that but it's a good place for the dogs to run so you can see here that the that the um, hill goes down it goes down to a creek down there you can see my car there's a little parking space if by some chance you had to put an extra driveway in there is a way to do it and I'm going to do another video coming from that angle so you can see that better but um, I think that this driveway thing is going to be worked out in the end. So this area right here, you can see, can be extended out more flatly in there that can be used for building. Um, and then all the way up here where the shed is, um, I'm just going to keep going. All this right here, if you were to take the dirt behind the shed and, and go back about 15 feet, you got 15 feet more of um, excavation there and then all that dirt could come down here and fill this in and then you can widen the excavation also. So this is, um, we have kind of like plateaus. So we're standing inside of the um, dog area and then there's this hill that goes up to the shed and that's the part that's excavated. That's about 14 by 40, that area. I have just some homemade stairs here. Everything is pretty rough, but I've done what I can with for a 60 year old lady, lady to get things at least workable. So anyway, the shed, like I said, 1440 by 40 area. Um, I had a RV, a 28 foot RV parked next to it. The septic is right there. You can see you, you can either run a pipe out of the shed and do a, um, if you wanted a shed there or um, keep the shed, but you don't have to keep the shed. I can get it taken away too, but um, from, for a toilet out of there, or you can hook it up to your RV. Um, this right here is looks like a mess, but it's really a good foundation. It's got a footing and a, a hundred bags of um, earth bags with dirt and concrete for a footing. I was going to do an art studio here, so there's gravel in, inside too. So you want to level that off and make a nice floor. You can use it for a gazebo or a studio or whatever you want but it's 12 as long as it's 12 by 12 you don't need a permit for that this is the other person's land over there who owns the driveway but the dispute right now with the driveway is that I own part of the driveway according to my boundary markers and when I do another video I'll walk down and show you what I mean about that so hoping we could work this out and also the well would probably have to go up here in the middle of the driveway which we don't have a well yet, so if you both split on a well, you'd be doing well to help each other out that way too. Up there, that property, the man is, um, he only comes a few times a year and he doesn't stay very long, a couple weeks at a time. This is the new property and the deal's supposed to go through tomorrow. We'll see if that happens because I told them about this dispute and I don't know what's going to happen, but most likely if it goes through, then they'll be up there on that hill with their RV or manufacturer home, not sure what they're doing. Mine's a two bedroom septic. They have a three bedroom septic, so they might build something a little bigger. And that's about it for up here. I will do go up behind the shed and show you that area a little better. And then I'll go down by the creek and show you that looking up from that area. Have a great day.